Big nights for Faith Espinosa and Taya Stickler lead Clorinda to a win over Shenandoah. Ladies, I'm sure anytime you guys can beat Shenandoah in anything, it's got to feel really good. Just your thoughts? Yeah, I think we've really been anticipating this game, and um, we've been practicing a lot for this one. Yeah, we really worked hard in practice because we wanted to come in and beat Shane in three, but unfortunately we did lose that second first set, but we did manage to get our energy back up and come out with a win. What does a win like this mean? You guys have taken some bumps early on in the year, played some really good teams uh, to kind of battle back tonight. What does a win like this feel like? It's definitely exciting, and it's like a motivation to keep working hard and to know that we can do it. I think we can take this win and get, go into the game on Thursday and get our energy and move it up. <laughs> Faith, you were all over the place tonight up front, uh, attacking as well. What were you seeing? Um, I was seeing a lot of open spots on the on the court, um, so I tried to aim for those. So. Taya, you've kind of set everything up all year, but tonight you were getting a lot of, a lot of swings. So what was kind of the mindset or the approach tonight? Um, well, I do try to spread out my hitters as much as I can, but every chance I get to hit the ball, I, I try to hit it because I always want to get a kill. But I really do try to get the hitters the ball and so they can put it down. What was working as a whole for this offense tonight? I think we worked um, better together than we have in the past. We had some mess-ups um, at times, but I think we got back into it pretty quick. Yeah, I think we did come together as a team, and we noticed that we need to put the ball down where they're not. And so then I think we managed, and we learned from other teams that were doing that to us, and I think we got it. How do you guys try to build off this win going forward? I think it's just a motivation. Again, I think this is a push forward um, to know that we can do this. Um, I think this was a win that we really wanted. Um, we really worked for it and we practiced for it, and I think that moving forward this is going to help us with our confidence. Yeah, I definitely think we can – get this win and make it into the other games and stuff and we learn from other teams that they need to they get their win and that's how they move on to other games with the energy and so that's what we need to start doing. Coach I'm sure anytime you guys can get a win over Shan it's got to feel really good and not only that you guys get your first conference win of the year just your thoughts on tonight. Yep um, we knew we had to come out and play well we knew Shan wasn't going to give it to us because it's a big rivalry game. Um, and I thought our girls came out and played hard. They started off this uh, match really well. Set one, we looked pretty strong. We just got to finish all four sets. Well, three is what we wanted it to be, but you know what, we got to give it to Shan. They played hard. Um, I'm just glad that we came back in that uh, third set and we started it just like we did set one. And that's what we talked about in the huddle that we had to come out just like we did in set one and get points right away because they did go on a few runs. Um, and those are things that we just have to control within ourselves and keep our emotions excited and keep communicating because when we stop communicating, we stop moving. So. It seemed like uh, different times tonight, you had different girls step up, whether it was Jessely with a couple of big ones there towards, I think, the end of the third set, Faith and Taya all throughout the night, um, Taylor Cole defensively. I'm sure you have to like being able to see that from everybody out there on the court. Yep. Um, we don't have one big go-to player. It's a team effort, and I know that's a good thing to have because sometimes girls have off nights, and I thought tonight I didn't really see any total off night, but girls did pick each other up when other people are struggling, and that's nice to see because that shows that we're working as a team and that things that we have worked on in practice are carrying over. You know, We talk to Tay a lot about using who's hot or going to someone that's or going away from someone that's struggling, you know, things like that. and. I thought she did a nice job tonight mixing the ball around them. And she set all the way around for us tonight, and that's something that was new. We worked on this week. Um, Emmy just started playing defense for us on that right side, and I thought she did an excellent job tonight, something that she's not totally used to. We just started doing it this week. Um, and she adjusted, and her and Tay did a nice job communicating there um, to get to those balls. So It's been a wild year, obviously, with everything going on. I know you guys have taken some bumps early on, but how do you try to build off a win like this? Um, we've got Mount Air coming in uh, to Clarinda on Thursday, and we just have to keep pushing. Uh, we talked about right after our quarantine that we cannot de let this define our season, and I really don't think they have. I've never heard it as an excuse. I've never heard it as, oh, well, we didn't get a practice for two weeks. We came in when we could. We've worked hard, and I think right now is where it's starting to show and starting to pay off. So I'm proud of the girls, and I give credit to Shan, too, because they played a nice set or match tonight. So.